So here, today we're going to upgrade a CPU for all-in-one with desktop CPU. Some all-in-ones have laptop CPUs. I'll do another video on that later. So for all-in-one you'll see something like this with four screws with heat pipes, copper heat pipes running out of it. So just unscrew them all. Unscrew the four screws holding it down. You don't have to do unscrew the, any of the four screws in any particular order. Just unscrew them all completely. But when you put it back, you have to do it in a particular order, in a particular way, to ensure that everything works correctly. So this all in one is the Dell Inspiron 23 2014 model. It has a Haswell CPU inside. So normally the heat sink for all in ones, they all have five screws. One screw holding the heat sink down, um, the fins down. I have not seen any of them that don't have this. So now that we removed all the screws, just tilt it up gently, remove all the cables that's in the way. There's this black sticky tape. If you this is the first time you do it, you'll probably have it there. Just remove the sticky tape. You don't really need it, it's not important. It just makes sure your bag is stuck to your heatsink. I'm just gonna the sticky tape out of it and wobble it out. So now that I have removed it, there's thermal paste here. We have to clean it off, and there's thermal paste on the CPU. Leave the CPU there and use your towel to clean it off while the CPU is there so you don't have to touch the CPU. Some might, might tell you you need alcohol wipes or whatever, that's um, really unnecessary. You just need your towel and clean, just rub it and it'll come off. Same with your heating, just rub it. Make sure that you don't do this after you're using your computer as the thermal paste will be hot so it moves around. If you leave it there for a while, it'll cool down and it'll come off. It won't stick, it'll just come off easily. So now I've removed the thermal paste, I'm just going to wipe it to polish it up. So now there's a lever here. I'm just going to show you. You pull the lever back, it opens. I'm going to put it back to show you it again. Make sure the, lead, the screw goes in there here. So you have to pull the lever back. So when you tilt it, you tilt it on one side, one side it tilts up. There's a gap there, you will be able to see it. I don't know if you can see this, there's a small triangle on the corner. I'm just going to zoom in. It's a little small golden triangle. There's notches on the side. That's a notch. So I'm just going to lift it up. I'm just going to show you the notch. The CPU only goes in one way. So the new CPU will have to look exactly the same. So here's the new CPU. I'm just going to put it in. You match the notches on the side. There's a notch. And there's notches on the other side as well. There's two notches on the socket. And just place it in, just drop it in, and wobble it around it <coughs> to make sure it sits in properly. So I'm going to remove it again <coughs> to show you how you do it. <laughs> Try not to touch the golden pins as I'm um, bending one pin can affect your computer performance, not make it read. So the golden triangle on the bottom matches that this corner shape, so it tells you where the golden triangle needs to face. The CPU does not go in if you put it in wrongly. I'm just going to show you now, when I put it in wrongly, it does not fit in properly. So it only goes in one way.
So the idea of the stick is you pull the stick back and then you lift it up. I'm just going to clean the CPU because I had uh, my fingerprints on it. Here's um, thermal paste, Arctic Silver 5. Don't be cheap on it. Buy proper thermal paste, you don't use it really once in your life. So we're just going to put it here. Don't spread it out. Don't overdo it. Just put as much as I put. It's really small. It's only really small as a rice grain. Now we're going to get the heating. We're going to put it, place it back on. I'm just removing my sticky tape that was stuck onto it that I forgot to remove before. I loosened it, so I never removed it. Remember to align the screws with the holes on the motherboard if, and try not to press down on it while you're aligning it. Okay, now that I've aligned it, I'm going to screw the screws in. Screw the first screw in halfway only, then stop. Do not do it all the way in. Then you go to the opposite side, you screw the same thing halfway only. Then you go to any other side, screw it halfway. Then the last one, you screw it in all the way, and then you reverse. This way, it spreads out the thermal paste evenly on the CPU. By screwing down one side, the first screw instantly, you push the CPU all the way to one side. Now we're going to have to follow the heating and replace the screw back in. And that's about it. You don't need to do any software updates or anything. You just put your computer together and turn it on and it should work. So this is relatively pretty simple. The main point of this is don't be cheap on your thermal paste. Only put a small rice grain on your CPU when you put the thermal paste on. <coughs> don't spread your thermal paste around. That's really important. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.